My name is Camille Schreier, and for the past year, I've served as Miss America 2020. But when I'm not being Miss America, I am a science nerd, and I've loved science since I was a little girl. I have a degree in biochemistry and another one in systems biology, and I am currently a doctor of pharmacy student at Virginia Commonwealth University. A lot of people don't necessarily understand what the job of Miss America really looks like. And for me, being Miss America looks like traveling around the country or doing virtual experiences where I talk half of my time about STEM education and do STEM outreach. And then the other half of my time, I talk about medication safety and abuse prevention, which oftentimes is really connected into the STEM world that I love so much, which is the pharmaceutical industry and understanding what medicines do for us. This is a good one. When I was a kid, I used to capture tadpoles from my pond in my front yard, and I would keep them in a fish tank, and I would feed them until they grew into frogs or toads. We had both at my home. And eventually, when the toads became larger, I would capture them and put them in a fish tank and make my parents go to the pet store to buy crickets to feed them. And I just thought that was a fun activity to do as a young person, but I was really fascinated by the metamorphosis of a tadpole into a frog or a toad and how that was then living in my backyard and that that ate crickets and I could feed it to them. Understanding that made me love biology even more than I already did. And those were the types of activities that I was interested in as a student. And I also had a butterfly grow kit that I would get every single year for my birthday where I would mail order caterpillars and they would form into a chrysalis and hatch into butterflies and I'd release them. Nature was always something that was fascinating to me. I was inspired to pursue science because it was everything that I loved and every single thing that I did as a young student and everybody else around me encouraged that. I didn't have a particular person or mentor or experience that made me kind of have that light bulb moment that said, I wanna be a scientist when I grow up. But it was kind of always what I wanted to do in one form or another. And everyone around me helped foster that love instead of making me feel like I was any different for loving science-related topics. I got to go to science camps when I was a young person and shoot off rockets and, and build machines and understand engineering. And those were things that I just enjoyed. And I just continued to understand and grow in STEM and figured out which pieces of really the broad STEM platform that we think of that I was interested in pursuing as a professional. Now, I lovingly call myself a nerdy scientist because I embrace being nerdy, but I think that there's a perception that scientists are inherently kind of antisocial, awkward, not super modern or stylish type people, which is so inaccurate in the reality of science professions. And oftentimes when I meet people, especially as Miss America, people are very surprised that I would be in a STEM profession because I don't look like what they expect a scientist to look like. But in reality, so many women scientists look just like me. Uh, and it really doesn't matter who you are, what background you come from, uh, what style you like to dress in or what you do, it matters what your skills and talents and love of science are. Uh, and that's one of the biggest stereotypes I'd like to break in science. I think that it will also encourage a lot of young people to want to pursue a career because they can see people that look like them in STEM. And that's probably the biggest thing that I'd like to do in STEM.